Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're all having a good Saturday. And we are back at long last, one of the best, highly rated visual novels ever that I have heard, you know, recommended to me by someone special, you know, uh, never played this before, you know, Corpse Party, heard about it uh, again through someone special and I heard it was uh, really good. Its Steam reviews are pretty fucking incredible. You know, like, very, very high. Oh, what do you mean? Racism? What? The Japanese are kind of racist, so... Surely, surely, surely. Yeah, ma imagine not being racist, right? Exactly. Oh, no, CJ, what are you doing here? You're not gonna have a good time. What do you mean? How is that possible? But yeah, so... Oh, it... <laughs> what do you mean, April 1st? It's October 1st, 2022. CJ, what are you talking about? Wake up. Wake up. Yeah, super, super uh, excited for this game. Never played it before. Um, going to do an entire playthrough. There's a lot in the series. There's like four or five in the series. So we're just going to go straight from the start all the way to the beginning, all the way to the very end. It's going to be load of fun. And yeah, let's uh, let's get right into it. Uh, turn of the hour just came. I hope everyone's having a good uh, spooky month. Fortunately, autumn weather is uh, making me congested, as always, unfortunately. Okay, the bit's over. I, I can't tolerate actually launching the fucking game. Fuck that. <laughs> I can't actually fucking tolerate launching that fucking game. It... Lazy, lazy fucking April 1st starting. Unfortunately, if I, had the, if I had the energy, I would commit more to it, but no, no, I can't, can't bring myself to do that. Jesus Christ, did I make the, did I turn the, what did I do with the volume? Nothing, I'm just insane, apparently. But okay, yeah, so, we're gonna get back into the game uh, from yesterday. We just started the banquet, you know, so... Nice new mystery. Still, the title should probably reload. Unfortunately, that's not a thing that's actually possible. So, like, that can just be the running joke. <laughs> anybody who's anybody who's knows about this channel is gonna be like, is it April first? Oh, it's April first. You know. <laughs> But yeah, no, you can't actually change the title. Like, I, like, literally, if I go into the Twitch client, if I go to the, I know that it's April 2nd for people on the other side of the Prime Meridian. Like, I know. I'm aware of that. <laughs> um, like, if I actually try to go into the Twitch client, on browser, it's literally impossible to change the title while the stream is still going. Like, I've tried that before, you literally can't do it. So, the running joke just gets to be, the title is gonna stay the same, though, as it is. But okay. Let's get back to the banquet and solving this fucking mystery. This piano remix of this music. Between the set and the dummies of Doherty, there's one human mixed in. According to the coffin system, there's a color code. Blue, human, red, doll, yellow, vacant. And blue one, red six, yellow zero. If that's what was in the coffins at the game's start, no mistake in it, there's one human mixed in. Yep, yep, yep. Feel bad about it, Siri. Right. Midori is with the organization. He can really use everything in this facility. There's no such thing as impossible. Is it Ranmar or what? Because, you know, he seemed pretty human, right? Can't think of any reasons besides that. Who cares about April Fools when the real joke is Twitch's entire system all year round? <laughs> Okay. But 
getting a hole that big in your stomach, Kurobata's gotta be a doll, huh? If you were human, then yeah, he, he would die. That's true, we can be pretty sure he's a doll. And who in the world could it be? Mm. Maybe I could be a human. We all saw our deaths in the victims' videos. It's hard to imagine humans mixing in. You saw them too, didn't you? Everyone pictured in those definitely died. Unfortunate as that is. Um, I think we need to... I'm gonna match Hayasaka with Hinako. What's that supposed to mean? All right. Maybe I match Ranmaru? Wait. Hell. No! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die, bro. God damn it. Maybe we just clear Ranmaru here by matching these two statements? God damn it! I'm so bad! I'm so fucking bad! You know what? I'm just gonna run out of mind and just die so we can reload without closing the fucking game. Any items? The hint showed us this little red light here. And we are reasoning out that the red and blue lights have referred to whether or not somebody is a human or a doll. And that humans are blue, dolls are red. So whoever is at number one, with Hinako's point? Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Hinako, I'm not so sure about that. About what? If Midori can freely use all the machines in the facility, why would he need to make an ID card? What? Well, I mean, maybe he didn't necessarily need it? He probably went to prepared one so that we could beat his challenges, right? No doubt he could use a face scanner or something instead of needing that thing. We never saw no devices like that. All we saw was the ID card scanner and the fingerprint scanner. That's right, even if Midori was with the organization, there were machines he couldn't mess with without a registered card. A, a registered card? Then why were Mai's fingerprints re registered? Uh? W wait a second, are you suspecting me over that? What's wrong? Mai with the organization? Stop letting your emotions do the talking, you wrestling old timer. Don't call Muscle Gorilla's name, Meow! Everybody calm down, we can't be looking for villains. What do you expect? If they're suspicious, they've got a high chance of being a human. I wish I didn't have to be cast in doubt in my allies either. Kuramata! All right, fine. Then I want to prove it, then I want you to prove it yourselves. That I'm your ally, okay? My fingerprint scan, yep. 
I always thought it was strange how mine was the only one to pass the fingerprint scan. Even I don't know why my fingerprints were registered, I swear it's true. And also, Mai's final moments were clearly recorded in her victim video. It's all fake. Her attitude's an act too. Maybe her role was to move to the was to move the death game forward. It's kind of scary how she puts on an act, but Mai couldn't be a full-on villain. Mai has the belief she was a doll, which is why she stabbed Kutaro. The fingerprint thing's a whim of Midori's. No point talking about it. The fingerprint thing's a whim of Midori's. You know what? Might have just registered mice fingerprints as a sick joke. Yeah, I mean, true. Always thought it was strange, but I don't think it's good to decide she's with the organization because of that. Yeah, no shit. And also, mice final moments were clearly recorded in her victim video. I couldn't imagine it was a fake video. If you saw it too, then don't you remember? Mai was holding two guns pointed at her head, her face pale, her gloved hands trembling. It was just too cruel. Yeah, we we did see it. Then again, people can survive being shot in the head. It's rare, but it does happen. Mai had the belief she was a doll, which is why she stabbed Kutaro. She was just afraid of what Midori said, so she's not a villain or anything, right? Even I don't know why my fingerprints were registered, I swear it's true. Honestly, I just thought it was a lucky break. If I were hiding something, I'm sure I'd have better excuse than this. It sounds like my being is being truthful, but... Do you have any ideas why? Like, you put on a finger part, or... Ah! I really don't... I haven't attached any shady parts! I've just been regular old me the whole time! But my It's all fake attitudes in Act 2. That's why that's what, who my really is. Happily ever after? Not. Hinako. I know what I'm saying is absurd, so show some proof to deny it. This kind of scary I should put on an act, but my couldn't be a full-on villain. I'm sure her not killing Kutaro then was because her heart resisted. The kind part of her, okay. So Hirako is saying, show proof. Um... Um, is the proof what Hayasaka is saying about... Thing. Hayasaka mentioned how uh, her de her death video, and I was like, "Is that the proof for the fact that she can't be human?" Like, I don't know. Wait. No, no, no. That doesn't make sense. No, I don't think so. I don't know if any of my items make this into making sense. Um, can I have a second? Are we sure mine never attached any upgrade parts? Ugh! I didn't, I mean, that's scary! Then it's strange. The dummies have to look the same as their original human selves, right? But comparing with the victim video... The Mai here now has no gloves. Oh. Huh? It's true, in the video we saw... Oh, she was wearing gloves. I didn't remember that at all. How the fuck was I supposed to guess that? But okay, oh, whatever. Now that you mention it, 
Why was I gloveless from the start? They're my favorite. Did they just forget to give me them? They're surely not the ones to take half measures. Huh? I suppose that must mean her gloves were taken off to attach apart, perhaps. What? Someone went and attached something before I woke up? But you could just put her gloves back on after attaching it, right? True, that's strange. Why were only Mai's gloves not put back on her, I wonder? The gloves were lame! Did the gloves not fit? You mean the gloves shrank? No. The opposite. Opposite? You're saying it's because her hands got bigger? Uh huh, huh. You, know, you know what they say about a woman who has big hands, huh? God damn it, I fucking missed that text! What the fuck did he just say? That I'm saying exactly or wrong to? What the fuck did he just say? God damn it. Fuck. Exactly. The hands that got attached to Mai were bigger than her original hands. Okay. Do you hate the sand people too? <laughs> yes. Were bigger than her original hands. I've come to an absurd conclusion, but it'd be consistent with the fingerprint scan, like the creation of Midori's ID card. This floor has been designed to suit the floor master Midori, so then it's natural that the fingerprint scanner would also be configured for Midori. Uh? And Mai's hand, which she used for the fingerprint scan, was bigger than her original hand, as if it were a man's hand. Then, you're trying to say my hands are Midori's hands? She has seaweed hands part, seaweed heads parts, meow? Not necessarily any old parts. We, we've discovered that blue means human, red means doll. Do you remember when she did the fingerprint scan? It glowed blue. Wait. Does that mean Midori is a human, but he said he was a doll? I mean, I guess that just means he lied about being a doll. But then again, how did he have rocket hands? How does he have rocket hands and detachable hands if he is a human? He put his own human hands on her robot body? What? He glowed blue. Stop it! That means these hands, these hands attached to me! They're Midori's human hands! No! <sighs> I feel sorry for Mai, but it's possible that wasn't a fingerprint scanner. It might have been a blood tester that pricked the finger. You saying there's blood in there? So Midori cut off his own hands to attach them to Mai? And instead he equipped a rocket punch? That would give us an explanation where Midori's where Midori is human and Mai is a doll. That's insane! Horrible! Disgusting! So disgusting! I'll kill that madman, I swear I will! Pfft. <laughs> <laughs> you were listening this whole time? It was so funny. I couldn't hold it in anymore. <laughs> There's nothing funny about this. I swear I'm going to kill you. Yes, yes, that's what the game is about. Well, won't you pick your first coffin already? I'm about to die of boredom. That's right. We've reached the conclusion. We've got to choose. Right. What we learned in the discussion was Midori... Midori is, un is an unbelievable man, able to cut off his own hands. He is a human with blood flowing through him. And all six dummies are dolls. Which means, hmm, Midori is in one of the five glowing coffins. We use hint one, coffin one, and we were told red doll. But Midori is a human, so one won't be it. Which means, huh? So in the end, 
It's one in four? What? After all this discussion? If both Gein and Midori are human, then is there no way to tell them apart after all? Oof. No, no way. Why has it come to this? We, we just need to calm down. Er, our options are... Pick the one coffin, knowing it'll be a miss, or aim for Midori with one in four odds with the possibility of hitting Gein. That can't be! There's nothing left to reason with. We have to think and choose. This choice could end up killing Gein. I absolutely can't choose wrong. Defeat Midori. So, we've ruled out one, and then one, two, three. It's a one in four shot. Between the glowing coffins. Just try all. You can't hint all of them. You, you can only hint once per turn. And we're on our first turn. Reload. Oh, save scumming is kind of... Yikes. I don't want to... Oh, man. I wonder if the game automatically makes you die, lose, if you don't just go for the miss. Let's try it. This one. We have to hit Midori to win. We can't take detours. It may be one in four, but I'll go for it. I selected the coffin. Ooh, well, is it the right one? Uh? No! What, what the? The floor! What the hell? Hey, you gotta be. What? What in the heck? It drilled through the coffin? Too bad, you hit Kurumada. Say what? What's going on? Please respond, Kurumada! That isn't true, right? It's just, in just an instant? You tried so hard to survive this long, and yet... I wish I could have seen it from outside. You've got to be kidding, Midori. We didn't hear it would be like this. Yeah, seriously. This is the first we heard that we'd be in danger. This isn't what we heard. I want no part in this game. Let us free. Oh, they didn't realize that they were going to get fucking killed, even though it's ru they, they said it was Russian roulette. Oops. Oops. They didn't realize that in Russian roulette, you fucking die. <laughs> I guess they figured because there was no gun that there wouldn't be a danger. And now Midori gets to choose, yes. <clears throat> Is there some kind of problem? What? The drill just pierced the contents, you know. The exterior's hardly changed, so it shouldn't add any noise to your deductions. Victory is decided once me or Gein get hit. I haven't lied about anything. You! Getting mucked up by a big drill like that leaves no trace of him. We can't bring him back like that! Relax! It'll be over soon when I choose Gein next. Midori's selection? Well, well, what number should I choose? Miss Sarah, let's discuss it together. Once I get him in, once I get him in one, it'll already be over. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. We just narrowed it down to one in two? Because we killed someone and we also know the red one is... We, we know that the red one is, uh, is a doll. So, like, this is like a one in two or a one in three shot. For, he can just guess. <laughs> he, he, he might guess and just win. God damn it. I liked Kuramata.
quit joking around already. Huh? Are you mad? Blaming it on me won't change that you killed Kurumada, Miss Sarah. Now then, back to Gein's location. It's as much of a game as of luck for me as well. My favorite number is zero, but that isn't here, so where shall I use a hint? You've got pretty eyes. They're looking at something filthy, though. <laughs> what a unique response. Alrighty, I'll go with three. That's my lucky number of the day. Miss Sarah, could you press the lamp on three for me? Why do I have to do it? Fuck you. Midori said coffin three. Should I choose this? Use hint. I summoned my resolve and pressed the lamp. Uh... What? Okay, but here's the thing. Now that we know this is blue, now... This could be... This is actually a 50% chance that he'll kill himself. Eh? It lit up blue. Doesn't blue mean human? Then it's Geen or Midori? Eh? Huh, hold on a sec, meow. Huh, a blue showed up already, Wolf? <laughs> what are you so surprised about? Going by your reasoning, there are already only three choices, right? Of course, it's likely for it to come up. In fact, should you be happy your reasoning was correct? I guess, but... <laughs> Were you not prepared to lose Gein this quickly? D don't tell me you're gonna pick it! B Big Sasara! It's okay, Gein! Midori, there's no way you can choose that! Hmm? If you do, there's a 50% chance you die. You must be scared of death. Still making that claim? Stop believing those convenient assumptions and look at reality. I even cut off my own hands for the heck of it. Then, go ahead and pick it, the three coffin. Okie dokie, Meister, hit coffin number three. Oh my god. Whoa. Roger that! Big Sarah! Stop! That's absurd! You're going to decide your fate like this? You lose, Sarah. Do I, though? Meister selected the coffin. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Big Sarah! Now then, will we finish this so soon? Truly, this is fate being decided. Eh? Uh? What's this shaking? You're kidding, right? No way! Why me? This c- Hinako? So close! You hit Hinako! Hinako! No! Uh, uh, sh shorty! Uh, hey, why wasn't Hinako? Blue should be Gein or Midori, right? What's going on? Was our logic wrong? We've made some major mistake. Everyone calm down. L let's calmly have another discussion. I can't. The situation's changed completely. If we get picked, we're going to be killed without a trace of us left. Please, calm down. Inako's blue lamp. So... Either all the hints about the colors were wrong in the first place. I, as in, we were wrong about the human blue red doll assumption. Or Hinako was the human. But if Hinako was the human, that means Midori is not the human. But if he's not the human, how are his hands able to... How is he able to have human hands that with blood on them and oh, whatever? <laughs> According to the hint, Hinako was human. Our reasoning was all wrong. Should we reconsider it from step one? It's absolutely not right that Midori could pick that coffin so easily. The lamps came up red and blue, so the info on the coffin and control screen was right. What's going on? Hinako had a victim video too. H am I going to get killed like that, Meow? Meow. 
God fucking damn. I mean, I didn't hate Hinako, but I don't feel nearly as bad as with Kuramata. Like, he was so fucking cool. He was such a fucking Chad. You know, like, he, he was nervous, but he was deep down, he was like, he was really nice. He was actually kind deep down, you know, and the, the, then he just randomly dies, and it's like, fuck you, game. What's going on? Well, I mean, the game isn't bad. I'm just saying, like, fuck you, Midori, for putting us in this scenario. What's going on? Hinako had a, Hinako had a victim video, too! I remember it, too! You could clearly tell she was dying! Her legs were in midair like she was hung from something, right? And yet, why would Hinako be human? It's not absolutely not right that Midori could pick that coffin. He's cheating! He must have rigged it somehow! Cheating! How, though? We're all just going to get killed! This isn't even a game at all! My! <laughs> Our reasoning was all wrong. Should we reconsider it all from step one? Will you rethink things, Miss Sarah? He's too rattled for us to talk calmly. <laughs> Am I going to get killed like that? Hug, I'm going to get torn up by a drill wolf. Calm down, Gein. We absolutely won't let that out. I, I can't help remembering now. Those scary videos we saw before. Muscle Punk getting squished by the walls. The blood from Cotton Candy's stomach. Clown Lady getting cut up. Suit and Specs and the Axe. Everyone had such pained faces, Meow! Geen! Uh, I know, Meow. I shouldn't be saying that. But I'm scared, Meow. Sorry, Big Sisera. We will save you. Hold on, Geen. The lamps came up red and blue, so the info on the coffin control screen was right. It all makes sense, so why was our answer wrong? According to the hint, Hinako is human. That drill doesn't have any blood on it. But then, if we could judge based on that, that would just remove the need for a hint. Might be designed so we can't put together put it together using blood, yeah. I guess all we can do is think about Hinako's past actions. Did Hinako do anything like switch parts that only a doll could do? Or else spraying steam, or charging, or removing her head? Is there anything definitive like that? Her legs were in midair like she was hung from something, right? Ain't no way she was faking dead. She's definitely on her way out. Okay, I think the clear answer here is to... have Kana and Ranmaru conflict here? Because we never saw her face. God damn it! Fuck you! Fucking Christ game, what are you talking about? Okay, I'm getting fucking angry now. This is bullshit. What do you mean? This is, I know what the all the fucking answers to this fucking story is at the moment. Why is this not working? This is the fucking answer. Like what game? Renmaru is talking about, oh, we saw her legs dangling from the thing. So it's like, oh, hey, guess what? We didn't actually see her die. We saw her legs. So clearly we have to, like, match him with something, right? Gein to Renmaru? Hmm. Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, he mentioned he mentions the victim videos. Okay, I'm stupid. <laughs> Just mad. I get mad. Pained faces, huh? Yeah, I'll bet. Hinako was the only was only a middle schooler. As much as he tried to endure, she must have wept. Huh? That's weird. I saw the video, but I don't remember Hinako's expression. Ah! Um, it actually makes sense you can't remember. Because Hinako's video was the only one that didn't show the victim's face. Ah, that's right! Ain't that kind of sketchy? We don't know if she really died. And if we didn't see her face, it's unclear if it's even Hinako herself, right? Well, still, she got called Hinako during the exchange of the video, right? That's true, but I'm kind of curious. If our logic up to now hasn't been wrong, ain't it Hinako that's strange? 
a good point. Looking back, there were a lot of mysteries to Hinako's actions. Is there a hidden truth here? We might want to think about her a little more. Understood. Let's have a discussion about Hinako. That's if we trust our reasoning, of course. All right, fine. We have no choice but to cast our suspicion upon Hinako now that she's a dead little bitch who is annoying the whole time. Let's talk behind her back while she lays in her grave. Uh. First, if Hinako was really human, does that mean she was just acting as if she died in that video? Hold up, if her face wasn't shown, could there be another possibility? Maybe Hinako in the victim video and the Hinako with the dummies are different people. Is there any other clue besides the victim videos? I'm sure the real Hinako died, like, in the video. Then some mystery person took Hinako's place to blend in with the dummies. To make sure they didn't get found out. They probably imitated her appearance, yeah? Just put on a middle school blazer, gaudy socks, and dye your hair pink and they could be Hinako. Is that plausible? She totally had this air about her like she wasn't really a middle schooler, don't you think? Does that mean Hinako was acting as if she died in that video? If you think about it, nothing directly deadly was pictured in the video. All the other dummies had knives or axes or other execution devices in theirs, yet... True, that is strange. What could it possibly mean? All we saw were her legs dangling, and if she, and we just convinced ourselves she had died. Is there any of the clue besides the victim videos? Hey, Sarah, you remember seeing anything other than those videos that involved the victims? Something I saw while searching. Yep. Well, we saw something in the gallery. On the wall, there were paintings of those, like now, who, be who had become victims. Whoa, you're right. Oh, yeah. There's one of those... Oh, yeah, there was one of those paintings I was wondering about. Oh, which one was it? Can't remember that part. What? Ugh, I know it's pretty a minor memory, but come on. What should I do? If I have something that can jog Kutaro's memory, I might want to show it to him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the lantern I have to show. Yeah. Oh, what's up? You gonna use that to help me remember? Yes, take a good look at this. Whoa, I'm starting to remember. Let's look for a notable painting here. I already know what it is, this one. This one's a mystery, a painting of a girl in a middle school blazer and gaudy socks with plain black hair. Should I have him add to this to the statement? Guitaro, please add that to your statement. You got it. Okay. My memory's a little hazy. Feels like I'm this close to remembering. If I have something that can jock his memory, I might want to show it to him. He totally had this air about her. Yeah. Um... Kutaro, ain't those all, ain't those almost Hinako's features? <laughs> hey, calm down now. Similarly as they might be, her most distinctive pink hair is different. Having the same clothes but different hair, that'd just be a different person. A, a different person? Seems it's looking more credible. Listen up, everybody. The painting is the gallery where all the victims who got involved in the death game and died. Naturally, that girl should be one, too. But nobody's seen this black-haired girl. That's got to be because she died in the first trial without meeting anyone. And also, Hinako's video. In that video of the first trial, she clear she's clearly being called Hinako. Meaning this black-haired girl is the real Hinako Mi Mishuku. Mishuku who was killed in the video. And the dummies Hinako was an entirely separate human taking her place. 
No way. Can't be. Hinako was... Shorty was a human now? Hey, but then is Midori not human? I have Midori's human hands, don't I? Uh, well... I don't know, but I can't imagine either theory is wrong. What is the truth about Midori? Haha, <laughs> you seem troubled. I'll make one rebuttal of my own to your theory. What? The dummies were explained to you at the start. They were picked from those who had no connection with any other survivors. Meaning? Uh-huh, I picked the real Hinako. Supposing there was another one, even I'd stick to the rules. Which is to say, the dummies would have included a black-haired Hinako. A black-haired Hinako in the dummies? Yep. Well, did anyone meet black-haired Hinako even just one time? N no we didn't. Oh dear, then it looks like your reasoning's gone wrong again, Miss Sarah. No way! Does no one have any ideas? I mean, does anyone remember talking to her even a little? <laughs> Wait. Reiko? There's something I've been wondering about. I can't ignore it anymore. Sarah, you remember when we first met Alice? Alice. We were asking him questions, and he gave an answer like this. The speaker said something about a trial, but it was foolish. I committed myself to hiding. Say, Sarah, you don't happen you don't happen to have some sort of item that comes to mind? Alice is speak You don't have some sort of item that comes to mind? Oh. The record. Yeah, I think it's the recording. Yeah, I think it's this. This is it! Reiko, you're talking about this, right? Yeah. It's a voice recorder with a recording for a pair first trial on it. Listen to it again. I press the switch in the speaker. This is the first trial. You have five minutes. If you cannot escape in time, you lose your life. You're not alone. Your fate is tied to someone you cannot see. However, if you refuse this connection and are willing to betray them, you can leave safely. Follow the voice in your heart. This was located in the locker room. I'm guessing it was a trial split between floor four and five where you kept in communication. He didn't have any ill will. I'm sure Alice just left the room entirely naturally, but his partner died. Alice won the trial by betraying them. He killed her, his partner, the real Hinako. No way. This is why the real Hinako wasn't included with the dummies. The two formed a relationship of perpetrator and victim. Stripey. Alice, why didn't you give it any thought? No, Woof. I'm sure it wasn't his fault now. It's the kidnapper's fault for making us do this, Woof. Gein. This is terrible. We really are just thoroughly being played with like toys. And this is, like, making me really wonder, like, what the fuck this run will look like when we have Alice alive. <laughs> but, thanks to this, we've solved the mystery of Hinako. Without question, the dummy's Hinako is human. Then, what are these hands attached to me? Ah, guess I have to admit it. As a reward, I'll tell you, like you worked out, I gave my, my living hands. But even so, that's not to say it's only my hands. That I gave away. Gosh! His head spins? St stop that, that's creepy. <laughs> you spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby. Well, surprise, you, you clearly ain't human. <laughs> I gave up my humanity. I split up and shared my body with a bunch of people, so I've hardly any human parts left. Ugh. Ugh. 
If my body is over 50% doll, surely you would consider me a doll, right? In this way, the body can also be a majority vote. Fine, then. If Midori is considered a doll, it all makes sense. Gein is blue, Midori is red. We This we can be sure of. Whoa, now we can tell them apart. Well, do your worst. If you think that alone will mean victory, well now, you seem tired of discussion. Shall we have the challenging team use their hint? Oh, right, it's our turn, technically. This next one is essential because we can't pick another blue one. We can't pick Geen. We cannot pick Geen. Because if we pick, if we hint and we get a blue thing, that means we have to hit one of the reds and it has to be Midori or else Midori will immediately kill Geen. We know that Midori's coffin is one of the green ones. Because it's a new coffin. So I guess... I'll go... to this one. Should I use the hint on this? Use hint. I summon my resolve and press the lamp. Red. Alright. It lit up red! Phew! Red means it ain't Gein. If this is Midori, we win! The same conditions go for the number one coffin that our first hint showed was red. That's true. You know, I usually suggest we have a discussion on what coffin to target, but honestly, it's really either this coffin or the number one coffin. Why is that? Aren't there still more glowing coffins? And what if Gein's in them? I think we should pick coffins we definitely know have dolls inside, Sarah. Everyone! You really okay with that? Be quiet, Midori. Because picking red means you might be picking one of the dummies, right? There'll be no trace of them left. You okay with that? Urgh. That's... There's a chance of anyone getting picked other than Anzu and Ranmaru in the non-glowing coffins. You'll surely pick an ally, Miss Sarah. Urgh. Midori. What's with his confidence? Our reasoning should be right. We should be backing him into a corner. So then, why isn't he scared? Why doesn't he fear death? Does Midori truly feel fear? Is our logic really correct? Do it, Sarah! Choose it! A red coffin so you can win! M my Even if I'm chosen, I won't have any grudges or regrets. We can't let someone like him live. This demon who tramples on people's happiness, their lives. My. Do it for me, Sarah. Save Gein, the human. That's right. This is the dummy's determination. Do it. Let our lives help those who still live. Oh my god. What a fucking Giga Chad. We'll win. Absolutely. Big says, Sarah. What a fucking Giga Chad! <laughs> fucking fridge man office worker Giga Chad. Oh yeah, you're right, we have data on computers, so we can make more of them, yeah. And this time, we'll hit him. We'll defeat Midori and win. can rebuild them. We have the technology. This one. The number one coffin I first used a hint on. I'll trust my gut. I'll defeat Midori and protect everyone. I selected the coffin. Oh, well, is it the right one? Oh, no! No way! M Miss Sarah, win for me. Gein, protect it. No! Uh, uh, too bad. You hit Hayasaka. It can't be. 
Hey, Asaka! Uh, uh, it wasn't me, but Hayasaka! What's going on? Uh, Hayasaka! Uh, again! I missed again! <laughs> See? You drilled through an ally! I, I can't handle this! They're all going to be killed! Geen and the dummies! Everyone, be calm! This match hasn't been decided yet! Oh, but hasn't it? Wha what's that? You're the ones who aren't calm! Here, let me summarize how many glowing coffins are left in total. It's only three, right? Am I st I'm not stupid, am I? Three? Oh, dear Miss Sarah, you really have been broken. It's not a difficult question. Wait. What? It should be three. I thought we, we've we only drilled. I thought we only drilled glowing coffins. We only drilled glowing coffins, so I don't really understand. What? Five. Correct, there are five glowing coffins. And you've hit Kuramada, Hinako, and Hayasaka. Furthermore, you used a hint on the coffin number one, so... Uh, there's only one coffin left, isn't there? This is absurd. There's no strength left in my legs. Midori's explanation is correct. I was thinking only about if we hit him, not what would happen if we missed. He'll be able to select Gein with certainty next, meaning he'll definitely be killed. That choice we just made was our final choice. Have... I... lost? Ahaha, uh, that's right! Come on, stand up, Miss Sarah. You still have a role, don't you? A role? To finish this out. Use a hint in my stead and let me know where Gein is. I'll let you say your goodbyes too, yes? Goodbyes? Is this our last moment with Gein? That can't be. I see, so you feel too bad to show him your face. All right, Meister, I'll just have you do it. W wait I'll do it, I'll do it, so stop it. Well then, chop chop. Will it be blue or will it be red? I'm so excited. My mind isn't working. <sighs> what if it's red? That would be completely insane. I can't think at all anymore. And yet, I did as Midori said. I pressed the lamp. Kill me. It lit up blue. Ahahaha! <laughs> well done! It seems you found Gein. No, no way. Big Sasara! Hi! Hi! Gein! Please, stop! This is just meaningless! Midori, you had your fun now, right? Rethink it! Gein is just a little kid! <laughs> I've hardly begun having fun. I wish I could play more, more, more. <laughs> Big Cicera! I'm sorry, meow. Gein. Why are you apologizing, Gein? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gein! I couldn't protect! That's not true! Because you were there, Big Cicera. I wasn't scared. Even now, I'm not. No. I can't do this! This is... Take care of everyone. Meow. And find Mr. Policeman! Woof! Keiji? I agreed to devote myself to Asunaro for granting my wish. Midori, 
What? Still pleading for life? You haven't granted it. The consent form wish. I still haven't. Huh? <laughs> You're obligated to listen to my wish. What are you saying? Invalidating the results of the death game is off limits, Miss Sarah. We haven't come to any result yet, because this lamp is just a hint. You're truly ridiculous. I'm making a demand. Just this once. Change your selection, Midori. This isn't like you. It's much too lame. Mere hair splitting. I'm the floor master. The rules are all up to... That's some interesting hair splitting. But, Meister. She's got a point, Midori. It's not altering the outcome, just changing the process a tad. And didn't say... Didn't you say you wanted to play more? Don't be absurd. This isn't for you to decide. Let me out. I'll manage the controls. We're still in the game. That'd be a rule violation. Meister. Haha. <laughs> What's with this person? Why is he judging in our favor? <laughs> he says it's changing the process, but if Midori accepts my wish here, then we'll definitely be able to hit him next turn, won't we? So doesn't it amount to changing the outcome? It ain't gonna end. Midori, hurry up and pick a coffin to target. Two. What? Two? Two is... What? Wait, why me? Just hurry up and pick two. No, hold on. Hanzu, spare me, please. I don't want to die. Midori, anything but two. Pick a non-glowing coffin besides Hanzu's. Renmaru! Are you sure? We might get chosen, but Keiji's coffin might get picked. Ha, ah, in which case... Oh, shut up! Number two, that's final. Do it already, Meister. Your wish is my command. Stop! Anzu! Meister selected the coffin. Now then, who's gonna be in this coffin? <laughs> No! Help me! Help me! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! Wah! <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Anzu. <sighs> Anzu! <laughs> because of me! Ah, too bad. You hit Anzu. <clears throat> How does it feel, Miss Sarah? Because of your wish, this time Anzu's an unrecognizable mess. I'm sorry, Anzu. Sorry? Am I looking for forgiveness? I've just drawn a clear line. I sacrificed one of the dummies to save Gein. I discarded a doll so a human could live. I can't cover that up anymore. It doesn't matter. However brutal it is, I'll do anything. You're going down. With our next choice, we'll deal the final blow. Yeah, that's all we can do. We'll clear the dummy's regrets right here. We'll save Gein. Go to hell, Midori. We'll make you apologize to everyone. I don't want to loosen this guy, meow. Oh, really? I do hope you can. We'll do it. Hey, mind went to the 100. Let's begin our final dis discussion. Fucking love the music in this game. Final gamble. Now, there's just one thing to wonder about. Whether or not we target the remaining number one coffin. What do you mean, Meow? There's clearly no other option, Meow. I mean, there's only two glowing coffins left, Woof. And one has a hint, Meow. If I'm in the blue number eight coffin, you already have the answer, Meow. If we look at it plainly, Midori really must be in the six coffin. But why is Midori so full of confidence? It's like he's not expecting to lose. Don't you have to wonder about why Midori chose Anzu's coffin? Is there some smart way of using our hint? Listen, we can't accept the loss. We've got to get the dummy's regrets on our backs. Hey, shouldn't we be thinking about whose side Meister is on, Meow? <laughs> I mean... Meister just 
I'm not gonna lie, I think Meister is just based and and gamer pilled, and he's just he's just following the rules. I don't think he's on anybody's side. I think he's just following the rules. <laughs> you know, like they're both of Asunaro, and Sarah hasn't asked for a wish yet. So she went showed so she made her wish, and it's like, hey, why not? That doesn't violate anything. Let's extract from everyone. Why is Midori so full of confidence? It's like when he's expecting not to lose. Midori was shaken when you brought up the consent form, right, Sarah? And yet now, he's calm. That must be because he isn't going to die if we pick the six, the number six coffin. Or it's fucking obvious he's not a fed. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying about not- hold on. That must be because he isn't going to die if we pick the number six coffin. He's- He's lying about not fearing death. He just has to guarantee he won't lose. A guarantee he won't lose. Is there some smart way of using our hint? I know it's a waste of- waste to use a precious hint, but something smells fishy. We gotta use a hint somewhere. He's lying about not fearing death. He just has to, a guarantee he won't lose. Do you know what that guarantee might be, Sarah? Not entirely sure. Should we be thinking about whose side Meister is on, Meow? I don't think we should trust him, Woof. He's just acting impartial, but really, he's on seaweed head, seaweed head side, Woof. And Shorty, too. I don't want to suspect her, but maybe she was with the bad guys, Meow. Gein. I mean, it has to be, it has to be, right? Shorty must have worked with Seaweed Head, or she couldn't have blended in as a fake meow. He has a point. The both Meister and Hinako are on Midori's side. There may be traces of them preparing things for this banquet. I don't want to think Shorty was bad, but... Hmm. Don't you have to wonder about why Midori chose Anzu's coffin? From Midori's perspective, he could have picked whatever. But I wonder, was there a reason he had to pick Anzu's coffin and not one of the others? Reiko, what do you mean? Erg, well... It's gotta be because Anzu's coffin is the only one we knew the contents on from the start. That's true, only Anzu was known. But what in the world does that mean? Listen, we can't accept the loss, we gotta have the dummies regrets on our backs. The dummies have created, have, were created to kill us, but that don't matter none. Kuramata, Hinako, Hayasaka, Anzu, they were all our allies in the end. We gotta show them the weight of that. Yutaro. Wanted to bring them all back myself. If you look at it plainly, Midori really must be in the number six coffin. By all means, we should just have we should have the answer. But something does seem strange. If Midori planned ahead to this extent, we stand no chance. Just how deeply did he consider K Kana? Calm down. Has our opponent made any kind of mistake, like a careless statement, for instance? A careless statement? It feels like whatever coffin we pick, we'll lose. Okay, you know what I think? I think... I think we cross... Re Dean versus Kyutaro? Okay, we'll try that. I was thinking Reiko and Mai, but let's try Kyutaro. Wait, 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 wait. Muscle Gorilla, don't be fooled now! Wha what's that, Gein? You say they were all allies, but Shorty might have been an enemy meow. G guess so, but even Hinako was killed. I want to believe in her too, but will we find the answer that way, Woof? Can we really win now? Ugh. Sorry, let me think this over. Seems Kitaro reworked his statement. It's true, Hinako might have been our enemy. But if that's the case, why'd Hinako get killed? I just ain't sure. What was Hinako trying to say in her last moments? I'm pathetic not being able to remember. Can't remember? Maybe I should use that again! <laughs> Fucking lantern! Gonna help me remember again, huh? Yes, look at this lantern.
Eh? Oh, I'm starting to remember now. All right, let's think about any statements that seem curious, just like before. What's this shaking? You're kidding, right? No way! Why me? This k- Hinako started saying these- this. This k- before she died. Maybe she was gonna say this can't be happening. She couldn't believe what was happening to her. <laughs> this k at video is really funny. Um... This sort of implies that Hinako didn't know what was going to happen to her. No way, why me? If Hinako didn't know what was gonna happen to her, then that sort of implies that this was like a raw deal? But yeah, I think I'm gonna try this. Yutara, please add that to your statement. You got it. What if we can find something by remembering what Hinako said? This can't be happening to me. I made my mistake. Oh. <laughs> What do we, what do we versus thing? What do we use this for then? Someone else? Okay. Oh, right. I'm stupid. What did you just say? Hmm? Uh, I said this k uh, Um, this might sound strange, but maybe Hinako didn't mean to, mean to say this can't be happening, but rather this coffin. Coffin? Yes, Hinako was working with Midori. Maybe her coffin wasn't planned to be selected? But then, it was. She was betrayed. What does this mean? The reason she thought she wouldn't be selected. Do you know it, Sarah? Non-glowing? Because it was a non-glowing coffin, that would take her out of a selection from the start. But Hinako's coffin was glowing! <laughs> huh? Then that idea is wrong. Is it wrong? Big Sis Sarah? Hinako had hot cocoa, right? Yeah, and she splashed it on my coffin. What if the reason Hinako had that hot cocoa was to pour it on her own coffin? Mia? Then she splashed mine as a distraction? No wonder. I was thinking, how many cups of cocoa does she need? Ah. Meow! That's Shady Wolf! You should have mentioned that earlier, Meow! M my bad. Meister, tell me something. What is it? While this device was being set up, was it possible to trade coffins? Well now, I suppose you could! S say what? I locked them when starting, yes? Until then, everyone could do as they wished. Then maybe the incident happened just before the banquet began, while all the coffins were buried underground. Eh? At that time, Midori came out of his new coffin and called Hinako to trade coffins with her. He what? That's gotta be cheating! But why did Hinako make the trade? I'm sure she didn't necessarily know everything about how it worked. And she didn't even consider that she would actually be betrayed. Well, how about it, Midori? Hmm? This trade thing wasn't in your plan, right? At first you wanted to simply enjoy the game, but you started to fear you'd die. So you called Hinako and swapped with her. So what? You're acting all proud like you've won. 
But what does knowing that do for you? Huh? Y you swapped with Hinako, so you must be in a non-glowing coffin. There's three of those, right? Just take a look. You have to pick me from among the three non-glowing coffins. And you have no more clues. Th that can't be... Oh yes, you could use your last hint, but whatever you pick, it'll just be red. What? Go ahead and discuss it all you like. That's exactly what I intend to do. The three non-glowing coffins. G guys don't just be silent well from what we've worked out Midori is in one of the three non-glowing coffins I wonder what would happen if we replayed this section and we immediately tried to go for the coffin that he is that he's in what would that metagame knowledge do would it just fuck everything <laughs> Midori is in the coffin that Hinako was originally in, right? Keiji's coffin is also one of the unglowing coffins, isn't it? I think we have to use our hint, Meow. Oh, that's what you meant from the beginning? I didn't even know what you meant at the time. Stop, Sarah. We agreed to pick this one. Oh, okay, so... I thought, okay, so I thought that you meant it as in if we got it wrong, we just go backwards until we get it right. Saves coming, even. <laughs> That's what I thought you meant, not... Oh, uh, if we finish the entire thing, if we finish the whole thing and then just replay it again, what happens? So it's one of these three. Eiji's coffin is also one of the unglowing un coffins, isn't it? We can be sure of that, can't we? But to think we've come this far not knowing whether Keiji is in there. Well, from what we've worked out, Midori is in one of the three non-glowing coffins. We just gotta choose one in three, but how can we tell them apart anymore? Whoops, didn't mean to touch that. What did he just say? He's got to choose one. One in three, yep. Midori is in the coffin that Hinaka was originally in, right? Ain't there something like a little hot cocoa colored? We've been observing the whole them the whole time, and no. Grah, what should we do? Safe scumming, I think, is appropriate at times that are just genuinely bullshit and unfair. Like... When I play Skyrim eventually, when I fucking stream Skyrim eventually, you are going to have to suffer me save scumming pickpockets. Because pickpocketing in Skyrim is bullshit. It is impossible to level unless you let... It's impossible to level without fucking failing um, and going to jail. But that's fucking stupid, because in Skyrim, the guards magically know when you have stolen items. They have no way, there's no fucking reason they should know what items you have are stolen, but they do. So, like, going to jail in Skyrim is bullshit. So that means pickpocket stuff in Skyrim is bullshit. Which is why you'll, you'll have to suffer that, definitely. But in... A game like this, where it's like this extreme story-driven mystery thing, then it's kind of fucking... An, it's kind of yikes, you know? You, sh you should, like, let your consequences play out, and then do a whole new run. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I think we have to use our hint, Meow. Seaweed Head's a liar, Meow. It's not guaranteed it'll be red, Meow. That's true, there's Keiji's coffin. Y yeah I don't want to think about it, but if KG really is in there after being executed, it'll show blue. But Midori isn't considering that at all. Why is that? It's no use. I can't see any options other than using our hint. And if that's only going to come up red, like Midori says, it'll be one in three. And since Gein's coffin is already known, if we miss, Gein's life really is forfeit this time. 
You just have to try, meow. Gein. I'm ready, woof. I'll be okay, whatever the result is. I want us to stand together against this, meow. Gein will stand against Midori. I'm prepared to. I use the hint on a non-glowing coffin. Let's do number five. Yep, it's right there. We don't learn something, there's nothing more we can do. Still, I assume... Still, I summon my resolve. And pressed the lamp. Blue! Blue, blue, blue! It lit up blue? It, it really came up blue, meow! Blue means human, which means it ain't Midori. It's Mr. Policeman's coffin! No way, meow! So Mr. Policeman really was executed then, woof? KG. I mean, obviously, we as players know that KG was knocked out and taken somewhere by Ranmaru, but Sarah doesn't know that. Kutaro and Mai know it too, though, so I wonder what they're going to save this for. What are they saving the information for at this point? That's wrong. KG escaped. He escaped. If he escaped, what does this blue mean? Oh, wait, no, Sarah does know that KG is alive because she found him before they got knocked out. What is inside? I don't know. I don't know, but KG has done something for us. Two coffins left, Midori. Sarah? Now it's one and two. I don't think there's any more we can figure out from discussion. We just have to choose one. I believe we'll win. This time, I will defeat you, Midori. But will we? But will we? I almost just fucking select... Uh... This is gonna be one of the dolls. Just watch the game fuck us up like that. Just watch. The g We're fucked. I've decided... This is going to be my or Ranmar. <laughs> uh, the person inside here is either Midori or Ranmaru. If I miss, Gein and Ranmaru will both die. My hands tremble, even knowing I have no choice but to press it. <sighs> Please, give me courage. Good luck, Big Sis Sarah. Do it, Sarah. I'm sure you can win. What if the whole climax of this part of the game is that we fucking lose utterly? Man, I wonder. I know the answer to that question, but I wonder. Would I wonder what you're all thinking? I selected the coffin. Oh, well, is it the right one? Fuck. Uh, seriously? Please, somebody! Save Gein and Sarah! No. Oh. It can't be! This. Too bad you hit Ranmaru. Uh. 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 Ah! It's all over. I feel like who is in what coffin changes based on what you pick. So whatever glowing coffin you pick first, it's going to be the same as this run, but with different numbers. I technically don't know that if that's true or not. But you're probably right, because this is a story-based game. <laughs> it's all over. I couldn't protect Ranmaru or Gein. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't save anyone. You can't give up, Sarah. Da ba dee da ba die. What's up? A voice. 
No, it's just an illusion. Besides, even if you tell me not to give up, it's clear which coffin Gein is in. It ain't like you to think, Sarah. It ain't like you think, Sarah. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? Kutara, what are you It ain't like you think, Sarah. What? I mean, I know the answer, but I'm just, you know, playing up at it. Ugh! Have to... Pick... Midori? Damn it! What's going on? The five coffins show red... Should show red, right? Didn't KG escape? He must have put it that in there instead! Heh. <laughs> Seems it was effective. Our final trick. Trick? Yutaro, what did you do? <laughs> when do you decide that that was Keiji's coffin? Then, are you saying it's Gein's coffin? No way! During the final coffin check! Did you do something with Gein's coffin? That's inconceivable! Then go ahead and pick the one you believe in! Ugh! What's going on? Sarah's clueless. There's so much I don't understand. Even still, Midori is backed into a corner. I'll give you the explanation later. How does... What did Kutaro, Mai, and Keiji do? You can't be cornered when you're all corners. That's why I, Kutaro, can't be beat. <laughs> Fuck, that is hysterical. <laughs> this is the final trap me, Mai, and Keiji put together. If you let him think calmly, Midori might notice what's up too. You gotta thoroughly corner him, refute his ideas, and break his brain. I have to pick the statements of Midori's that seem most refutable. I'll make him unable to think this over properly. No way KG's inside. Why was that coffin blue? No way KG's inside? Why are you able to say that? We saw the cremation ceremony being activated. Should it be more most natural for you to think that KG is inside? Urgh. Foolish. It must have been a deception. KG escaped from the coffin. The control system worked and opened up the coffins. And the victim video's playing was proof of that, yes? Those dying moments of the six dummies. The control system worked and opened up the coffins. The dying moments of the six dummies? That's wrong, Midori. Hinako's video showed the death of the real Hinako. Someone separate from the dummies Hinako. From the dummies Hinako. Be quiet. What do those details matter now? What's important is the control coffin control system functioned properly because the victim videos were set to play as a reward for activating it. What's that about a reward? At any rate, the real question is Keiji's actions afterward. Maybe Shin? The Shin AI was only on control on, in the control room on floor five. There's no way Keiji could have talked to him while he was stuck on floor four. <laughs> Then he heard it from Maple. That settles it. Having learned about the banquet, Keiji began his scheme to ensnare me. I'm sure he put something else inside the coffin. He could just use my doll in place of a corpse. The coffins ident identify contents by the type of collar, all told. This doesn't make sense because he not. Wait, no, Hinako was blue. Yeah, so. Even in death, Shin is getting fucked over. <laughs> you could just use my doll in place of a corpse. The contents are identified by type of color? That's the first time hearing of this. Right, because it's the first time telling you. After all, both humans and dolls would be reduced to cinders by the cremation system, right? So only things that can withstand the heat would remain in the coffin. Namely, the collar. What? And KG must have thought like so. K 
Keiji figured he'd make use of a certain collar. My collar, which was in the control room, not even realizing that's what just I wanted him to do. Hmm. I mean, if he wanted you to, if you wanted him to do that, how did he, how did he even accomplish this? was in the control room. He'd make use of a certain collar. In the control- I'm glad they got rid of the time limit. <laughs> like, of all the things that were hard in this game, this was like one of the hardest. What you wanted? What do you mean? I had it purposely prepared as a gimmick for the banquet. Knowing someone would use it for deception. How far has he planned this out? He used your collar, Midori? That's impossible! Your collar would show the same thing as the dummies, red. But what actually came up was blue. How do you intend to explain that contradiction? Why, you? You're being so annoying right now. I don't know, so I'm thinking about it. And you're getting in the way. Midori, there's only one answer that makes sense. Wh what? It's simple. Your reasoning has all been way off the mark. Discussion end. I did it. I refuted them all. From the beginning, Midori has been thinking that Coffin didn't contain Keiji. But rather his collar from the control room. So he was convinced it would be red. You're saying it's all wrong? Then who's in there? Is it KG? It definitely can't be Gein. Gein, that above all would be impossible. Yes, I'm certain. You have no eyes to support you when you're faced with a dilemma. Because you killed them all yourself, Midori. Now, choose. Decide your fate, Midori. All right, I'll choose. Meister, the coffin I'm picking is... I see. This one? Meister selected the coffin. Now, will it be the right one? Pixis, Sarah! Uh, I'm... I'm scared! No. 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 <sighs> What's so funny, Meow? Yeah, I knew it. Huh? I hate you, woof! <laughs> Gein! Whoa! Gein! Whoa! Whew! Gein! Thank goodness, Gein! What about Mr. Policeman, Meow? Uh? The blue coffin that isn't mine! That's Mr. Policeman's coffin, right? He was inside, Meow! KG's in there? That's not possible. We know that Ranmaru didn't allow that to happen. Unless Ranmaru dragged him back into the coffin. But why would he do that? <laughs> Wouldn't we have noticed that? Because Ranmaru went straight to the fucking AI room to try and get the Joe AI in him. So he, why would he have put KG in the coffin? Like somebody would have seen that. So no, KG can't be in the coffin. KG's in there? I see. If he didn't use Midori's collar, I can only imagine he's inside. But didn't he escape? Don't tell me. After he escaped, he went back in? While I was passed out? Silent the whole time, so as to deceive Midori.
You did good, Sarah. Don't tell me this is a hallucination of him. KG? Long time no see, everybody. He's alive. Who the fuck is in that coffin? KG? Hold on. Why are you just here? You survived? Sorry about that. Took some time getting here. Uh, are you the real deal? Might be a ghost. Wanna check? KG! Yep, I'm real. It's a long story, but basically, Renmaru locked me in the charging room. Why, Woof? You should have told us sooner, Meow! Sorry, sorry. I worried you, huh? You did good too, Gein. Y yeah! Give me a break. You should have come sooner. I've been listening to things unfold over the transceiver. But me being here wouldn't have helped anything. <sighs> now we can talk later. Do what you need to do, Sarah. Defeat Midori. I feel like my Midwest accent is causing me to say Midori. Like, Midori. Like... We're facing off against an entire brewery that makes nothing but mead. <laughs> A rule violation. I finally realized just now you used it. Mishima's collar. Mishima's head, which Miley failed to collect. His collar was still on his severed head. We still haven't found that collar. So, you're the one who had it, KG? And you put it in that coffin! And... That's foul play! Using a missing collar from another floor isn't a valid part of this game! It's against the rules! Mishima's collar is a rule violation! Clear foul play! You damn! It's time to give up! No, Midori's right. Mia? Mishima's collar is an illegal item that was never meant to be used. To dodge execution with it? Now that's unfair. Rule breakers will be executed. Th then, the rule breaker put the collar in the coffin. That'd be cagey. What nonsense is that? This can't be... surely... Even after he survived and we reunited? He'll be executed for breaking the rules? Nope. You're, everybody watching who doesn't know what's about to happen, you're about to shit bricks. We remain undaunted. So you were prepared for this. <laughs> How disappointing, even though there's a way you could be saved. I'm not interested in a finished game, you see? Once I win, I cease to care about who played dirty. Don't listen to him, Sarah. I promise you, if I win, I won't expose your transgression and won't punish you. Choose Gein, Sarah. Don't listen to a word he says. I'm saying that if you pick Gein, I'll let KG go, Sarah. This is the last choice. Really, truly, the last. Keiji told me to not listen to him. To not listen to Midori. But why? So it, it, it's eight, eight, eight is Gein or, se, or seven is Midori. an entire metery want to kill people this way. <laughs> <sighs> Die, you motherfucker. We've come to an answer. Metery is in seven. Gein is in eight. Should I choose seven? Is this really okay? I don't want to do the bad ending for this. I don't even want to bother doing the bad ending for this. So I'm not going to do the bad ending for this. 
Once I push it, it'll all end. I'll save Geen, defeat Midori, and Keiji will... It's all right, Sarah. Keiji. My hands tremble. But with the last of my strength, I selected the coffin. Oh my, will it be the right one? Sarah, I gave you a compromise, and yet I, I knew I should have called it quits. To think death would be so terrifying. Die. Motherfucker is dead. It's over. We won? Well done! You hit Midori! With this, the challenging team wins. However, it seems you'll need to pay the price. No! Protect Keiji! We won't let you do that! Rule violations will be punished. If you resist, we'll take you all out. Got it? I still won't move aside. I won't let you kill any more of my allies. Oh. Ain't no need, Sarah. Huh? Shh. What, what are you talking about? I'll tell you everything. Uh? Sorry for fooling you, fooling you this whole time. This is what I really am. What do you mean I don't get what's going on at all I ain't the real Qtaro I'm a doll Safflin prepared a doll Keiji you look bewildered yourself honestly yeah because I I did what he expected I'd do I put Midori's collar in the coffin right after we put the collar in, we split up to act separately. Keiji went to floor five, and we went to the cemetery. Why did you go back there? The truth is, I was at my limit. My stab wound was even deeper than I thought. You can't! Kutaro! Get up! We're going to meet Sarah and the others, right? If you stay here, won't you get burnt to death? I'm sorry. Seems it's too late for me. Is that what Safflin told you? I don't want this. It's because of me. Don't cry. There's no time. You need... To, what you need to do is... I can't do it alone without you, Kutaro! You won't be alone. I got a doll. Safflin will help you. If you can just get the ID card, use the AI Seaver with my doll. But then, what about you? Are you planning to die here without anyone even knowing? <laughs> It'll be the ultimate camouflage. That's ridiculous! Please! Now, get going. My! It... It can't be! Then, inside Coffin 5 was... The real Kutaro? Yeah. No! Kutaro, I... Geen, my, you got out? Muscle Gorilla, so he already... I'm sorry. I'm guessing he was burned in the coffin then. Shh! Wha... Wha... Why? We were gonna get home, together. <laughs> Don't cry now. Geen, you're a big boy, right? Sarah, Kana, Reiko, you gotta protect them, right? Stick with your allies. 
<laughs> but Muscle Gorilla, he was all alone. We couldn't even talk. I couldn't tell him anything. I No, he knew. I may just be a copy, but even now, I feel like I'd be willing to die for you. What are you saying? You can't! My good fortune was my heart being weak. To tell you the truth, I wavered lots of times. I even thought about abandoning everybody. Even so, I couldn't. It wasn't kindness or anything. It just yielded. That part of me that wanted to survive, even if it meant killing someone else. <laughs> so, I'm happy that I could come to your aid. Muscle Gorilla! What's wrong? Muscle Gorilla! Mr. Kutaro! Thanks, Dean. Mr. Kutaro! Mr. Kutaro! And it's over. All the dolls have run out of battery. Next will be your final game. The winner will be decided. No, it won't. Hmm? We'll escape. We won't do as you expect us to do. Well now, I look forward to that. Ginibushi. Wh what now? Keiji Shinogi. Kana Kizuchi. Y yes Reiko Yabusame. Yeah. And Sarah Chidoin. The five of you will have a final match. Until then, give some careful thought to the ways you might outwit each other. How awful. It's just me left of all people. My. I. I still want to live. I owe this life to Kutaro and all of you. We'll surely bring you back. Thank you. Set. Rah. Just wait for us. Final chapter, part one, end. To be continued in the final chapter, part two. You have no idea how much I struggled to not fucking tear up reading all that ending shit. Oh my god. This is the far this is as far as the story currently goes. Save your progress. Save. Thank you for playing this far. I should have saved on the next one. Alright! Fuck yeah! Now! Everyone! You excited? Excited for the Alice Lives route? Actually, no, not, not chapter select. The only humans left are Sarah, Bolisman, Gein, Reiko, and Kana. Yes, in our... That is... That is... That is, uh... In the... In the... File 96, that is where... That is... Where they are. However, we're gonna go far, far, far back. Nope, this is the decision with So... Uh, so no, we have to go further back than this. I mean, they both ran out of power, so I'm hoping that at the end we can get them back, yeah. Okay, so we have to go farther back than chapter 50, than file 51. I should have written this down. There's no way it's in the first 20. Uh, let's try... 40? I don't remember what this part of- what's in this part of the game. This is after Alice dies, actually. So... This was- this was 41, right? So, uh, yeah. Is this gonna be both an Alice and So Lives run? I'm not sure, because I kinda wanna do, like, all of the routes? 
you know? Like, I want to know what, what happens if Alice and Kana are alive, but I also want to see what happens if So and Reiko are alive and So and Alice are alive. But a lot of the dialogue I could always just skip through, you know? So I guess it's up to you guys. Like, how much... How much more are you willing to suffer this game? I mean, it's a really fucking good game, so, like, you probably don't mind. But, like, I would like to see, like, all four combinations. So plus Alice run. Okay. We'll do So plus Alice. And then if we feel like it by the end, we will, uh... We'll check out the other two alternative things real quick. Okay, so we have to go further back than 40. Let's go to 35. This is too far back. Okay. Let's go to like 36. No. Nope. Wait, no, this is... No, no, this actually isn't far back enough. Now that I think about it, we don't get to... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm correct. We have to go farther back. We have to go to 30. Let's try 30. <laughs> if I've been smarter and separated out, like, this here was very smart, so I know where to go to the So and Kana route. No, wow, what the fuck? So 30 is also too far back. <laughs> what about 25? Aha! Is this the exact correct moment, though? Let's go to 36 just to make sure. Hope we get Gein Sniff Vision again, because that was really cute. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're going to do that whole section again, so... Let's go to... We just went to 36? I'm so... Wait, what? Did we? What? I'm so confused. I thought I just went to 30. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not, we, we have to go further back than that. That, the, that, the whole vision thing? No, 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 the, the vision thing does not happen until after Alice Reiko choice. We have to go further back than that. God damn it. Okay, uh. You confused me. Making me think. Okay, no, it was 30. It was indeed 30. Okay, I was correct. We go to 30. Okay. No, not that. God damn it! Fuck you! <laughs> no! <laughs> God damn it! The fuck? Could <laughs> lose my fucking mind! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay, no, it wasn't here. I, I, see, I have a short, I have a very bad memory, okay? You understand. Wish there was like a scroll bar, but there isn't. So wait, what happened? Did we go to like 25? Or 26? Okay, that's where we were. Okay, now let's try 27. You know what? No, 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 no. Let's, uh, just... Let's just, uh, get a bunch of wrong answers. Let's get a bunch of wrong answers. Yes, here we go! Here we go. And you said, don't know if this is the right... <laughs> <laughs> See, that is the memory. That is... 
this is another um, running through the 90s moment. Where the combination of my short-term memory and chat being ever so slightly behind, just a little bit, leads uh, to not knowing what the hell is happening. Oh no, we need to go further forward, I'm stupid. Whatever. Skip, 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 skip. <laughs> Just get a bunch of wrong answers. Time advanced. Beer and uh, MCDs are getting to me. All right, we'll see you next Friday, my friend. Hope you have a good night. Have hope you have a good night. God, when will the time just run out? Come on, hurry up. When will you fucking lose? Come on, lose. God, there's so many discrepancies. Okay, you know what? I think you're right. I think you're right. I think we have to... Fuck! Where did we go? Did we go to 25 or 26? Did we go to 25 or 26? We're on 26. Okay, let's go to 27. Easy. This is funny. Let's go to 27. If only past me had been smarter, like the older version of past me. All right, now we get everything incorrect again. There we go. Third injection's coming up. You know what? Sure, let's check 28 as well. Let's check 28 as well, yeah. This is what happens if you save like Skyrim, like a Skyrim player. You have too many saves. Okay. Is this the same exact scenario, just slightly forward a little bit? Give us the third injection. There we go. Come on, let's do it. Come on, Kitaro. The switch has been pushed. Yep. We remember this incredible part. 
Yeah, we're about to watch Ranger die like a little bitch again. So for those of you who are not familiar with this section of the game, what happened is that in part two, the first part of part two, of chapter two, we did this thing where we collected tokens and then they played a trick on us and they were injecting Gein with uh, murder venom from a scorpion and we had to stop them. Uh, and the trick they were playing on us was that they had a, a fake Reiko, a doll Reiko. And the, our original playthrough, we have it so that we find out who the doll Reiko is and we fucking murdered her so that we can save Gein. Um, but in this one, we fail, which means something else happens, which I will, I will show. Sorry, now. I'll still, I think I'm going to do the dialogue for some of the cool, for some of like the important scenes, but otherwise I'm not going to do read out dialogue. Ha, ah, that's, aren't you late? Welcome to the Room of Lies. The stage is all set. Reiko! Who's this chick? Doesn't she look exactly like me? She, she really... He, she was really here! Then I am... Seriously a duplicate? Huh? Confessing it that easily? So boring! See, I was thinking of having a quiz. What? <laughs> you guys ever heard of doppelgangers? Someone witnessing you somewhere you never went, or else you meeting, or else you meeting another you. In some countries, that phenomena is considered an omen of death. As soon as he finished talking, a sound began ringing out. Wh what the hell? Why did my caller start making that noise? Mine too. Ha <laughs> ha It's begun. Ranger, what's the meaning of this? It's cause they're doppelgangers. We don't need two Reiko Yabusames, only one needs to survive. No! You're kidding, right? This ain't fair! Grah! I'm gonna tear this thing off! <laughs> I wonder what type of death that caller will give. Can't wait to see. Stop it already! Ranger! You three idiot girls are just so friendly. Well then, I'll let you choose who to save. Huh? Save whoever you like. And if you don't pick either, both will die. This is awful. We abandoned Gein to protect the life of the fake Reiko, and yet... Putting people's lives on scales again? I've had enough of it. Think you've got something wrong there. Eh? Don't be so self-centered, Sarah Chitoin. The one I'm saying I'll let choose is now Ego Koro. I'm going to have you pick. M me? Don't be stupid. It's just about choosing the real one, right? <sighs> You're just full of complaints, huh? As a special service, how about you use this? Ranger dropped something on the floor. That's the knife Kai used to commit suicide. Uh, a knife? It's mine! The right Reiko grabbed the knife. Now, pick me if you don't want to suffer! What? I'm serious. This ain't just a threat. If I'm gonna die, then only now, Sarah, I'm taking you with me too! You can't do such a thing. Because you're a copy of Reiko. Even in this short time, I understood. You can't possibly hurt a friend. So I'm sorry. Reiko's my friend, too. I need to save her. Stop! Up! I want to save the left. Huh? Ah! Reiko! Reiko! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! I killed her! I killed her! I won! I survived! Why? Why isn't the collar stopping? Huh, well, that's strange. Maybe because now didn't choose? <laughs> you never intended on letting the fake survive from the start, did you? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it was the exploding type. 
Well, simple is best. What is this? Why is Reiko in this state? Wake her up, now, Sarah, why won't you explain? Re Reiko is... What are you trying to say? Ah, couldn't even come to see her die. Some siblings you are, huh? This can't be. It's inconceivable Reiko would die. You see how much she's bleeding? Come on, you know it. This is the fake Reiko's blood, right? I won't be fooled. Nope, the fake doesn't bleed. Look, collapsed over there. The headless Reiko is the fake. No, I won't believe it. Reiko is so much stronger, luckier, and more hateful than me. She's a person whose life has value. My one and only sister. She's garbage now. It's just a corpse. Give her back. Give Reiko back! <laughs> so scary, Alice. I'll kill you! You're dead! If you kill a floor master, all y'all are gonna die, you know. Oh well, seems I'll just have to kill you too. I mean, we don't know what the story looks like with Alice alive. Maybe he has a lot of interesting moments, you know, so we'll see. Huh? A gun? Why? You've stepped out of line, Rio Ranger. I have no more use for you. Dad, why? What is going on? F fix me already. Dad. Unfortunately, Rio Ranger, this is farewell. What are you saying? I don't want to... Do you hate me or something? Wasn't I your greatest masterpiece, Dad? That is in the past. Why do you think you were the most human of the dolls I created? Because you put your affection into me most. Wrong. It was jealousy. I implanted your emotion program an excessive sense of inferiority toward and hatred of humans. Humans have it nice. I envy humans. Why am I a doll? What's so great about humans? And so on. With that complex you could never overcome, you burned with a deep jealousy and truly qualified as human. This convinced me that it is negative emotions that make a human. Th that's yet for the burning flames of jealousy to turn into an to turn one into a monster. That is just as human. You are an impediment to the plan of failure. You see, Rio, I put three kidneys in you, as a joke. They all have stones. You have pain receptors as well. Rather, I will turn them on shortly. Well then, I apologize you had to witness such unsightliness, everyone. I invite you now again to the main game. This time, card data for the Keymaster Sacrifice, Sage, and Commoners have been distributed to the tablets you possess. This has been done at random, and I imagine some of you may be dissatisfied with your role. In this case, you may use a trading function to forcibly swap cards with another. However, you must use the Me tokens you have earned in order to utilize this function. The Trust tokens you have earned up to this point will be essential in deciding the battle. What in the world? Just who are you people? I am the reception doll. No, let us do away with these tedious set dressings. I am Gashu Sato, a researcher into negative emotions. Now, let the main game begin. Woo! Man, I'm excited to play the game even more because this game is so fucking good. Ugh. You up? And this is a nice wholesome moment. Too bad Kutaro dies later. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I thought I was gonna die, meow. Sorry, the switch. You pressed it for me, woof. Nah, I hesitated to the last second. It's fine, meow. I'm alive, woof. Geen. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, meow. And yeah, you are correct. It is a good place uh, to finally end off for tonight. Chapter 2, Part 1. End. We have to get to a point where we can save the game, though. <laughs>
or uh, because I know we can chapter select, but I don't know if we can chapter select our choice. So, bring it up. Jeez, what a bore. Fuck you. Getting to a save point is fine. We have plenty of overtime clock to get to a save point. It's not gonna be like 30 fucking minutes. Also, we're skipping dialogue we don't really care for. This is just theatrics of how the be the beginning of the second part of the second chapter is. Like right here, we're playing as So, right after he realized that, uh... Well, I mean, it's Shin, but he's going by So because his... He decided to give up his old name because his old name had a 0% chance of winning. Oh, and in this run, we're gonna name Midori Jeff Bezos, obviously. Or we're gonna name him Venus, or Dick Shit, or something funny, I don't know. Bezos. What about Jeff Benos? What about Jeff Benos? Should we do Jeff Jeff Benos? Yef Binos? Yeah, this is just, uh, Shin just losing his shit, is all. Oh, I, I forgot! This is actually- this is actually vision of, like, a different AI- of, a, of an AI thing, yeah. Now that I think about it, now that I remember. Other than Sarah killing him, uh, these events also played out normally. See, like, this is so having a dream about it, yeah. What did- Fuck! Sorry. Just relax. If you're a beaten, I'll tell you how to survive. Kana, don't you betray me. But yeah, what- well, yeah, what- well, We'll have uh, Alice live, and So will live. Is playing an instrument fun? Oh no! What, you interested, bro? Watching you makes me want to play, Reiko. We're too clumsy, bro. Doubt you even can. So mean! <laughs> don't whine about it. All right, I'll teach you. You mean it? And if you get bored of it, I'll kick your butt. Of course, I won't get bored, hee hee hee. Hey, Reiko. Haha, <laughs> what's up? Someday, let's make a band and have our debut. For real? I'll make songs and you'll sing them. Does, doesn't that sound wonderful? Haha, <laughs> sounds great. Don't forget it, bro. Don't you ever forget. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. You really were kind. Such a good girl. Holy shit. This is like a punch to the face. Holy fuck. Alice lost someone precious to him. Just like now lost her teacher. Just like Kana lost her sister. Just like I lost my best friend. Reiko, she was a trustworthy ally to me too. It's painful. It's sad. But... But... We can't just stay here forever! Alice! Now! Sarah... Chidoin. You're in the way. Be gone. I know how you feel, but the main game's going to start again. That random bit when Sarah's dad shows up, it's a fu- It's- it's some foreshadowing... thing. I assume. I don't know. We'll see it. We'll, we'll see something about it again later, you know. You know, in four to ten months. They're giving an explanation. Please come to the medical office. You sure are kind. Huh? 
it shouldn't matter to you if anything unfavorable happens to us. In the main game, everyone is an enemy. Again, at least two people will die. It might be you and me next. That may be true. But I don't think giving up on living and thinking and thinking is the right thing to do. If we diligently think about it, I'm sure, I'm sure there's a path. A path. I've long since passed up such a thing. Even so, I stubbornly lived on. Because I thought someday my parents or Reiko would repay me. There's no path anymore. Let's go, Alice. Now? Hey, now. Now, Igakoro. What are you? Now removed the gloves from Reiko's body. I need to deliver this. There's surely someone else waiting who treasures Reiko as much as us. Now. Alice, please, you take one of these, too. Alice accepted one of the gloves. I'm going. I need to move forward. Forward. Sarah Chidowin, I will tell you this. The name of the man I killed was So Hiori. Huh? I don't care about So Hiori at this point. Who I really need to kill is... Alice. Those were... Eyes of Revenge. Revenge against our enemy who plotted the death game. Anger and hate. Those made the only path that would move Alice now. Then what path will I choose? That's obvious. I won't let anyone else die. The main game, I won't let it happen. You? You can't save anybody, Sarah. I'm not going to lose. All right. This is our brand new save. Holy shit, we have so few saves left. Okay, so 96 is our original run. I think we can manage to remember. You know what I could do? Uh, 97 is our new save point for our next Alice So survival run. Thank you all very much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We will be back in four days, Wednesday, if you live in the United States. Uh, we'll be back at it with this game. We're going to do new run with a new main choice with Alice being alive. Um, all the lines that I think are cool, I'm going to read them, which may end up being more lines than I was hoping. But at the same time, maybe you guys are not sick of this game and it is not a big deal if this is also a nice, you know, casual pace and not me trying to speed through it. Maybe you guys are okay with that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours. And uh, this stream will be up re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where we'll join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. And if you want to support the channel in uh, more ways than one, uh, you can always share the stream with people you know who, would be, who you think would like hanging out here with you. Um, or you can clip moments that you think are funny, if that's a thing that you would enjoy doing. Uh, of course, don't do anything beyond your means. But any type of support that uh, might improve the analytics is uh, extraordinarily appreciated by me in every capacity. So, and yeah, uh, this was a fun, very fun game. Glad we got to the current maximum number of chapters. And, you know, uh, however many months from now when they release the final part, we'll immediately get back on this game, assuming we're not, like, in the middle of a different game, right? Like, hopefully hopefully it'll line up well. Maybe they'll give us, like, a, a date and I can line the dates up that way. You know, that'd be nice. Uh, but we won't know until then, so... Yeah, uh, pretty good overtime, so I should get out of your hair now, so... Thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate your support in every capacity. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. And I will see you all again soon. 
with more Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. Ciao!